Don't have a macro lens, but want to get up close to your subject? Well, I'll be unboxing this filter and a focusing reel so you can get up close and personal to your subjects without a macro lens. For the best macro equipment and tools, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video here on YouTube every Thursday. I'm honored to be one of the top photographers on ShotKit, and I want you to know that when I do these unboxings, they are very straight to the point and true. I unbox, I use, I let you know what I like and what I don't like. So let's get to it. So when I unbox, I like to show you from the very beginning how I open it and what's in the box to see exactly what you'll get when you purchase these awesome tools. Today we're going to unbox the macro focusing rail from Nisi and the 77 millimeter Nisi close-up lens kit for my 70 to 200 Canon lens. So we'll go ahead and unbox the filter first and it has a nice wrapping, nice feel to it. It also has adapters so you can use this filter with other lenses. So that's pretty cool. I really love the box. Look at that box. That's really cool. It's very sturdy and strong and it also gives you information about the filter. I love the covers. It has two covers and it's really heavy and sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It's really strong. I was surprised about how strong and nice that filter is. Now let's check out the actual focusing rail. I wanted to show you both the filter and the rail because when you get close, you should learn how to stack. You'll see more towards the end how I stack images. Some documentation to give you more details of the focusing rail, which is really nice. Take some time, read your goodies. And it's super, super strong. Look at all the details so you can uh, stack your work. And it's very strong, just like the filter. Oh, here you go. Now this goes on, I'll show you later, it goes on to the lens or your camera. You get a nice pack to hold everything in. And let's just put everything inside now to see how it fits because it will go in my camera bag. Okay, it's time to set up the filter and the macro focusing rail. And I wanna let you know that it, this works on a tripod or you can use it as a tabletop like what I'm gonna share with you at this moment. So there's the piece right there that goes into the 70 to 200 lens. So that rack right there will go in these little slots in here. And I'm just kind of sliding around, seeing how it feels and how it works. And it was kind of scary to tell you the truth, the 70 to 200, uh, putting it on the rail like this. But I wanted to try it and see if it could handle it. So I'm tightening it up and making sure that everything's stable before I let it go. And boom, it worked. Again, if you have other lenses, you can use those adapters. So here's the kit and I'll show you real quick. So you just screw those in and then you can put it on a different lens that you have. So you'll have to look at your lens size. Now let's grab the filter and put that onto my 70 to 200 lens. Okay, so now let's set up the rail. If you wanna move it fast, you can use the big dial to the left. When you're actually photographing, you can adjust it on the right side within small increments so you can stack your work. And it held it, it, it worked really good and you can see how it slowly moves the lens. I next like to show you how to put the rail on a tripod. So what you gotta do, I suggest, is take off these legs. They're just kind of really truthfully in the way. And the reason why I really like to put this particular rail on my tripod is because I'm using the 70 to 200, which is a big lens and a big camera. But the filter, <laughs> wait till you see that coming up on how crazy it is 
to uh, get up close with this lens. So here I'm putting my quick, you know, my quick little adapter from my tripod. I use Manfrotto. I love Manfrotto to tell you the truth. Now I'm going to put the plate on the lens again. So you can see that it's adjusts, it very easily adjusts, which is really nice. Just make sure that you push that little flap down so you can get it in the rail easily. So here it is, it's all set up and I'm putting it on my old tripod that is absolutely awesome and I kind of tightened it a little bit. I noticed it wasn't that tight. So now it's ready to go. I'm putting on the camera with the lens on the rail and we're ready to shoot. Let's go for it. Okay, another quick tip. Before you start shooting, make sure you turn off your stabilizer, go to manual focus, and use the short distance area on your lens. I really did like that I could put my lens hood over the filter. And you could put your lens cap over the filter also, which is really cool. So I purposely put a white background so we could check out if there was any chromatic aberrations between the colors. This is 85 millimeter on the lens. Then I went ahead and did a 200 and it looks amazing. There's no chromatic aberrations. I was so surprised. The sweet spot for me was a 160 on the 70 to 200. So what I suggest before you actually start doing your fun photo shoot is to actually test out the filter. So we're now going to use the rail. We want to start from one side and take a picture in focus and keep going all the way towards the end. So then we get a complete image or focal point in focus within the frame of our image. It's so much fun. As you can see here, I'm using the rail. It was really nice and stable on the tripod and I can make these little small maneuvers to stack my images. I took them all into Lightroom and then stack them in Zareen Stacker. And as you can see here, boy, was look at how sharp that is. It's incredible using both of these tools. Comment below to let me know your biggest takeaway of this video unboxing. It's time to talk about what I like and disliked from this kit. Now, when it comes to the rail, I personally did not feel comfortable putting my camera on a table using the legs, but the tripod was awesome. Now when it comes to the filter, oh my gosh, I just love this filter. Look at the detail that I got, and this is hand hold. This shot that you're seeing right now is hand hold. I'm just like so surprised. <laughs> if you like this video, have it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. So check out this next video on my best and worst macro photography equipment. Plus, remember that your thousand words does make a difference. Cheers.